from the studios of Tucson Business Radio X, recorded in the Stewart Title Corporate Offices on Broadway. You are now listening to The Mark Bishop Show. And now here's your host, Mark Bishop. Well, folks, with all the headlines of voter fraud, voter intimidation operations by foreign actors, and domestic tampering of official ballot boxes, a new voter suppression reporting app is available to empower voters by capturing and alerting local officials and the public of any efforts to suppress votes in the upcoming 2020 election. Sounds good. Here's the founder of Guard My Vote app and the CEO of the Denver Retail Group. Welcome, Rob Brown. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. Well, Rob, this app, uh, is it easily accessible and for free? Yes, the app is free. It's available now in the Google and Apple app stores. And all you have to do is download it in about 30 to 40 seconds, and you're on your way. All right, so it can go onto a smartphone or the web browser, uh, and it provides useful information on voter suppression, and it allows end users to record localized voting experiences via their mobile camera and instantly share via text email and tag tweets as well. Is that it in a nutshell? In a nutshell, you'll go in after you've signed up with your profile. You'll be able to go in and access a survey, which is pretty much a checklist that describes what a voting experience might be if you're voting in person. So imagine you've gotten to a polling place and you get out of your car and you're walking up and you see a long line, or maybe there's a protest outside and you're not feeling quite sure about you know, the environment, mm-hmm. you'll be able to go through the app and uh, go through that checklist and make notes and then tweet those notes to the Secretary of State where you live, or you can also tweet it with your fr- or share it with your friends on various social platforms. So the goal is to provide truthful information and prompt action in a nonpartisan way. This is to reduce voter suppression incidents, right? Yes, it is. I mean, the app is nonpartisan because our focus is making sure that all Americans have access to truthful information, clear information. We don't want to ask you know, who you're voting for. That's not the important part to us. The important part is that you have the ability to access great information, which the app allows you to do. We point you directly to your state's website that has all the information about voting in your state, be it registration, be it polling places. Uh, who's on the ballot, those types of things. Hmm, fascinating. Uh, Guard my vote. I guess you're aiming to expand voting access and awareness to each corner of our nation. Uh, I guess the mission, Rob, is to empower people to vote and to end voter suppression for good. That's exactly right. I mean, the unfortunate truth in America is that there has been some voter suppression. Uh, as an example, we've seen, heard stories about Uh, false or fake ballot boxes being planted or specific uh, states have counties where they only have one ballot box for up to four or five million people. Those things make it very difficult for people to vote, and that shouldn't be the way that we do things here. And we want to have a tool available to people that helps eliminate voter suppression for both parties, everybody that's eligible to vote here in this country. Mm. Wow, I tell you what, in doing my research on it, the, uh, this, uh, this app, which is easy to use, it allows voters to identify and report some of the most common methods of voter suppression, which includes restrictive voter ID rules, lack of language support, uh, closed polling locations, or reduced voting hours. I mean, we, the public, we're looking for meaningful ways to improve voter integrity. Guard My Vote streamlines the process of alerting election officials and shedding the light on problems that occur. So my question to you is, how are local officials alerted if your vote is suppressed? There's two ways that we, that happens by using the app. The first way is uh, completing your survey. And when you press submit at the end of your uh, survey, you can tweet directly to your secretary of state or send that person an email as well. And those links uh, for the tweet and for the email are already embedded in the app. You don't have to look for it. And then the second way that the app helps you is 
through our partnership with the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. So we have a 1-800 number at the hotline that goes directly to their election protection team, Mm -hmm. and you'll find that phone number on our website as well as in the app. You can click on that phone number, and if you need some immediate help or assistance, people can alert uh, the officials that are localized there and, and get you the help you need. Uh, well, Rob, I, I've touched on a couple, but what are some examples of voter suppression we ask? Um, let's look at what voter suppression can do. And no doubt uh, what inspired you in the first place to create a tool like this. Right. Well, in terms of the voter suppression examples, I, you know, just someone... Uh, asking you similar, you know, when you're in line, hey, who are you voting for? You know, if people are doing that in an aggressive way, that could be very intimidating and can, is technically considered voter suppression. A long line doesn't necessarily mean voter suppression, but it may mean that there's some uh, in, uh, inefficiencies inside that building that might be slowing down the vote. So there's many ways that we see voter suppression take place. Uh, the idea here is to, if you see something, you should do something about it, take note of it so that those issues can get fixed. And then to answer the other question, the reason why I wanted to do this is because 2020 has been a very difficult year. We've had a pandemic. We've had civil unrest, protests, uh, you know, police shootings, things like that. Mm. And I know that it, we can always solve things through voting in this country if everyone has the right to exercise that vote fairly. Yeah, I don't think the gods are happy this year, mate, I'll tell you. Um Voter suppression, I mean, it can influence election outcomes by discouraging or preventing specific groups of people from voting. That's correct, isn't it? It is the unfortunate truth, and and that's the tough thing is that, you know, we, we live in a democracy. We want to see both sides of a political issue be discussed, but then the people have to be able to go out and do that fairly. And, you know, there are things like robocalls that are going out, sending wrong information to people, and then people might fear going out. Uh, to vote, or people might think that polling places are clo- closed if they get this phone call. So Guard My Vote, through the app, you're able to get real information through the state's website that make it clear to you what the rules are. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not fair. You're right. Some of these tactics include efforts to make voting less convenient, uh, physical intimidation, uh, even blocking prospective voters from polling places. That's not much job. What does surprise me, though, Rob, is today in this day and age, there is no secure, safe way that I could sit here on my laptop and vote. You know, that, that amazes me in this day and age. Yes, I, and I, I've had the same thought. Many people have had that thought and, and have been thinking about ways to make it a lot easier and just in, include this as another option, right? If we can do this digitally, then that's one option. Maybe if you don't have a computer, then you can still do it by mail. But I agree with you that having a digital way to do this would be would be helpful and it should be easy to vote. And you're right. We don't want people blocking and making it hard Mm -hmm. for people to vote. And if you see those things, you know, you can use guard my vote to capture that and share it with the people that can make a change. Yeah, of course. I'll I'll preface this. I mean, you know, uh, all we hear about is the Russians, this or or, or, all all the rest of them across the globe uh, online that can do things. So we'd have to have pretty secure safety guards if we were to do it digitally. But tell me about the unapproved ballot boxes that were installed in California. What happened there? Well, as I've done my research and read about that, it seems that um, some of the folks in the GOP had uh, planted uh, fake ballot boxes in about five uh, counties uh, in California, and they tried to do it under the auspices of ballot harvesting, which basically means, you know, people are able to, if they're officially uh, designated to collect ballots for people that maybe uh, are disabled, live in a uh, assisted living facility. Those folks don't have a way to take their ballot to the ballot box. So ballot harvesting is a legal process. However, if you plant a ballot box and intentionally make it look like official government ballot boxes, mm-hmm. well, then people and, – and you represent one specific political party, well, then that's kind of – fixing the game and you're and you're you're misleading people on purpose and that's a crime yeah, yeah. so the you know so that's unfortunate that that happened in california and with georgia of course huge lines and long waits uh, evident for early voters to miss texas has attempted to reduce ballot boxes to one per county right absolutely uh harris county has been in the news quite a bit that's where houston texas is Harrison County, excuse me, Harris County is about 1,700 square miles. It has 4.7 million people. And 
they only have one ballot box for all of those folks. So for some of them that don't have cars, it may take up to seven hours round trip for them to get to the ballot box. And imagine if you're leaving from work and you're trying, or if you work from home and you've got to leave your house for three and a half hours and then come back just mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. put your ballot in the mail. I mean, that's very, very difficult. And that's a form of voter suppression. Well, wow, this is fabulous. You heard it here, folks, on the Mark Bishop Show. Um, listeners, you can go for more information on this to guardmyvote.com, all one word, guard, G-U-A-R-D, my, M-Y, V-O-T-E, guardmyvote.com. Fascinating. A voter suppression reporting app, now available at your fingertips, thanks to Rob Brown, founder and uh, CEO of the whole thing. Good luck with this, Rob, and, I, and let's hope that it can you know, contribute towards a good cause. I think it will. Just go to your app store and make a difference. So thank you so much for this time, Mark. You're most welcome. Thank you, Rob Brown. 